spirit. Eternal squad, y'all. Yeah. I like to appreciate y'all for watching this video. I like to appreciate my spirit team, my angelic beings, my angels that are here with me, protect me as I make this power video for the masses people. Call on my protection. You feel me? It's not gang signs, that's protection. That's simple, so I can let the angels and ancestors know, like, yeah, I'm making the video and I want y'all guys to surround me and support me and root for me as I make this video. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You gotta call on your protection, man. You gotta put, call on your protection. You gotta call on your support team. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit team here to support you. They are your number one cheerleaders, man. You may not see them, but understand, they, they run in big. Deep as fuck on oh God. You know what I'm saying? They deep as fuck, boy. You trip. They deep as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Spirit team, they be deep as hell, bro. You may think, oh, 30 people in a group, that's deep. Hell no, why are you tripping? <laughs> Spirit team be thousand deep. You tripping. Why they everywhere out there, man? There's a whole cookout going around that you want fuck. Little guy, bro. But look, y'all. But I know it's stuffy right now, and I want you guys to bear with me as I make this video. Really. Everything coming from the dome. Everything coming from the soul. <coughs> First, I want to say, you are beautiful. You are a beautiful being. You're from out of this world. You're not from here. You're not from here. You are the light. We've been waiting for you. It's been a long time, my friend. It's been a long, long time. <clears throat> Can you remember going through that portal? Can you remember how long it took to get here? Can you actually remember? The answer might be no, but you're so no. Your soul know what I'm talking about. After you watch this video, good things will appear in your life. Coincidence. Now, it's going to be a coincidence. Some people be like, it's a coincidence, but no such thing as a coincidence. If you vibrating on that vibration, on that frequency, I'm going to send you something. I'm going to send you something. <coughs> And it's not for me. It's not for me. A change is happening right now. Or I should say a change already happened. Whenever you are watching this video, a change has happened in your life. You went through a portal. You went through a shift. Something has shifted in your life. Energy has changed your life. You have transmuted energy. That energy that was holding you back, you transmuted that into a positive change that you are about to experience. You are about to experience something very major. Something you always wanted is about to just appear in your life. You are a magical being. You are from the cosmos. You are operating on cosmic frequency. You have tapped into frequencies. You have tapped into vibrations. You tapped into the spirits around you. You have guidance from the spirits around you. Your name rings a lot of bells in the spiritual realm. I heard about you. And the spiritual realm is telling me to deliver this message. No matter, if how, no matter how old stuff my nose get right now. My nose stuff right now, they try to block me from getting this message to you, but I feel the empty the whole clip. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Sorry, no, I'm lying. You hear me? But look, y'all. I take that back. I ain't lying. <laughs> I'll take that back. I ain't lying. What the fuck I got to lie for? But look, y'all. You are tapped in to your magic. Your imagination. Is operating on a kid level. And that's intelligence. 
as a kid, you were very intelligent. Ask your mom, ask your dad, ask your sisters. I guarantee they won't tell you how intelligent you really were. They won't tell you how magical you really were. You said some things, you did some things that spooked a lot of people. You are currently doing things and saying things that are spooking a lot of people. You have a gift of just knowing. You have a sense of inner knowing. You just know something special is about to happen in your life. You feel it. Your soul is telling you, you are up at night just thinking about it. But saying you, you, you barely get rest, but like when you wake up, or when I should or I should say when you rise, you feel a boost of energy. You know what I'm saying? You feel like today is a beautiful day, the sun is out. Even when the sun is not out, you just feel some type of energy pushing you to just be great. Greatness is all around you. You have all the tools you need. You have everything you need to do what you really want to do. You may think, I need that to start it. But you have everything you need. You have the knowledge. You have the wisdom. You have the intellect. You have the insight. Many people do not have the insight. Many can say right now, I can teach you how to make a million dollars. Many can say that. But many cannot say, I can show you a million dollars. That's different. I can show you a million dollars. Envision that million dollars. Observe that million dollars. Now attract a million dollars. Bring it into the physical. I can show you a hundred million spiritual million dollars. You wouldn't believe it though. Because you would think, oh, this is a dream. Oh, this is not real. This is super real. This is super real. I showed you that to motivate you. I showed you that to show you how spiritually rich you really are. You have connections. You have ties to this. I just showed you a hundred million spiritual a hundred million spiritual dollars. And I prove to you that you are powerful and you have connections to this. You have connections to the spiritual realm. You may think the physical realm is where the connections is at. Nah. We know each other in the spiritual realm. We know everybody. Sorry, y'all. I had to blow my nose real quick. But I'm here. <clears throat> I'm speaking to a spirit guy. You are a spirit guy in flush. You are a spirit guy to the ones around you. People look up to you. <clears throat> so I want you to change how you respond to things. We or I should say us as spirit guides, we don't respond to bullshit. We don't react to bullshit. We don't tolerate bullshit. So if it's a whole bunch of nonsense going around or around you, I'm saying, start moving shit. Start operating in your power. Start saying things that bother people. Say the things that people are afraid to say. You feel me? So, if you notice something about a person, say it. And I guarantee the whole demeanor is going to change. The way they view themselves is going to change, and the way they view you is going to change. The respect is going to just shoot up to the sky. You know what I'm saying? When you start saying shit people are afraid to say, that's when they, they start to listen. You know what I'm saying? That's when they start to uh, take notes. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are taking notes. A lot of people, they are sitting back watching you. A lot of people are looking for you and other people. But they will never find you and, uh, and other people. Y you hit different. You know what I'm saying? You hit different. Your energy cannot be found in these beings. They sense your energy everywhere they go. 
They feel your presence everywhere they go. Your presence is felt. Your energy is felt. Your impact on people's lives is felt. They can vouch for me right now. <clears throat> the, way you imp- the way you impact people's lives, it hit different. It just hit different. It don't make sense. You don't be doing nothing. You be chilling back. You be laid back. You be in your own world doing your own thing. And I want you to continue to be in your own world. I want you to continue to do whatever you are doing. Keep writing. Keep speaking. Keep dancing. Keep listening to the birds. Keep tuning in. Tune in with the spirit guides. Tune in with your angels. Watch a movie. You know what I'm saying? Watch something that your soul is telling you to watch. Watch what you consume with these two eyes. You feel me? What you consume with these two eyes can affect you. It can affect you in a good way or a positive way. You have to choose. Do you want good or you want bad? When you operate on good, you operate on a sense of just intelligence. When you operate on bad, you operate on the sense of, uh, do I really know what I'm saying? Do I really know what I'm talking about? Do, do I actually believe myself? You know what I'm saying? You operate on doubt. Mm-hmm. Us as spirit gods, we don't operate on doubt. We don't operate in lame ass energy. We don't do that lame, low vibrational shit these beings are doing. We don't do that shit. We take care of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. You feel me? Because when you are able to take care of yourself, you are able to take care of the ones around you. Without even having to give the shirt off your back. But if you need to, you will. You know what I'm saying? When you take care of yourself as a spirit guide, the ones around you, they elevate with you. Even when they are not a part of what you got going on. They still elevate with you because that's how powerful your energy is. Whoever around you is going to upgrade and elevate with you. They are, they are going to experience abundance with you. I'm telling you, the people around you are experiencing magical things in their life. Why, though? It's because of you. These people are receiving money out of nowhere. They are getting phone calls out of nowhere. They are getting good news out of nowhere. You are doing that. You are doing that with your energy. You started to consume less. And you started to do more. The more you do more, the more you remember why you are here. They want to keep you busy body. They want to keep you distracted with that job. They want to keep you distracted when it comes to that environment, that place. They want to keep you distracted. So you won't have time to... Study yourself, get to know yourself, and get the answer on what's going around, what's going on around you. I'm saying, when you are able to find a quiet space and just listen, you get the answer. But when you are around all these energies, it kind of disturb your peace. It disturb your your way of thinking. You start to question yourself. Every time I was around. This, this low vibrational energy, I started to question myself. I started to like doubt myself even more because I felt their energy. We are sensitive to energy. They doubt themselves. You know what I'm saying? They are not confident in themselves. They are insecure. We are spirit guides. We are sure of ourselves. We know ourselves. We wouldn't dare to question what we are doing. We was called to do that. These beings, they are not called to do it. So when they try to copy you and it fails, they have clarity on, they have clarity on you. They have clarity on who you are. You are the chosen one. You are the anointed one. You was called to do that. So when they try to do it, it fails. That, that let them know everything about you. It let them know everything about you. Like, okay, this person is a spirit guide. Okay. This person is the chosen one. This person is the anointed one. This chosen. This person was chosen by the Most High. Simple. You are chosen by the Most High. 
You were chosen to do that Pacific thing. You were chosen to spread kindness, positivity, shine your light. We are spirit guides. We are spirit guides. We don't care who is insecure about our light. We don't care about that. It's irrelevant. They are insecure about our light. It sounds like a personal problem to me. Feel me? We came here to make a change. We didn't come here to be the same. We, we, we didn't come here to be stuck in the same place, the same environment. We came here to just work out with magic. We came here to really work out with magic, y'all. Y'all, or I should say us, in these vessels, we don't know how powerful we really are. But when we leave these vessels, we go back home. When we go back home, we get a better intellect on the human experience. We get a better intellect of the God experience. The God experience is showing people God exists. The God experience is showing people that God is within your spirit, that you are God. Us being spirit guides, we are only here to show people that God is you. People believe God is outside of themselves. They truly believe that. They truly believe it's a man in the sky waiting for them. They truly believe that. And they are lost souls. They are spirits and souls that came here to... Remember why they are here. They came back. They chose to come back. The only reason why we are in these vessels is to remember who we are. The only reason why we meet these people is to awaken them to who they are. The only reason why we do these things is to awaken the ones that are still asleep. You are here for a purpose. You are here to enlighten people. You are here to share with people. You are here to share what you know. What you know, no one else knows. It's in no book. But trust and believe me, you read millions of books. It's still out today. You may be reading a book that you wrote in the past life. So. The God experience is a once in a lifetime experience. You are a God in the matrix. The reason you are here is to experience what it feels like to be a God. You came here to experience what it feels like to be a God. When you Read the Jesus story. What is Jesus? He's an angelic being. He's an angel from the cosmos. And where you are from? You are from the cosmos. And who are you? You are an angel. You are a light worker. You are a spirit guide. You are some type of being that is supernatural, superhuman, that can do what Jesus do. But a hundred billion gazillion times you feel me they told you what you can do they told you you are God they told you Jesus is a character they told you Christ is consciousness and what is consciousness cosmic frequency cosmic energy you possess the energy of Jesus Christ you possess this energy. What they won't tell you is Jesus is Zeus. You see? Jesus is the devil. We all have the devil within us. We all, we all have the devil within us. 
we all fall into this matrix. We all was working for Zeus at one period of time of our experience. But we were saved by the white light. We was all a part of Zeus campaign. We was we, we were stuck in Zeus ball pen. We was in Zeus playground. We all been in Zeus playground before. We all been. We all experienced something that was traumatizing to our soul. We all did. This is a simulation. You are here to get it right this time. You were saved by the white light. You were chosen by the white light. God said, that's my anointed one in the ball pit. Almighty said, the Most High said, that's my anointed one in the ball pit. Zeus, that's my anointed one. Don't touch my anointed one. I want you to teach my anointed one a lesson. I want you to teach my anointed one she can work her way from hell. I want you to teach my anointed one he can work his way from hell. And be saved by the light. We are here to save the ones that are still in Zeus ball pit. We are here to awaken the fallen angels within our reflection. We all have fallen angels within us. And the whole purpose of us being here is to balance our fallen angels. Is show people how to balance the demons, the devil that's within you. There's no such thing as good. There's no such thing as bad. Everything is energy. And when you sense energy, and when you feel energy, you get clarity on your intuition. You get clarity on your discernment. You trust your intuition more. You trust your discernment more because you feel it sense energy. Energy never lies. Trust your discernment. Something good is on the way. Spirits, I like to appreciate you. Almighty God, I like to appreciate you. Ancestors, angelic beings, appreciate you. For allowing me to deliver this powerful message while my nose is stuffed right now. Remember what I said. I'm going to send you something after this video. AC Lucky.